Hey brothers and sisters. So I just kind of wanted to check in with you guys and see how everyone's doing. I know it's been a little while since I've made a, a video and um, I've had a lot going on in my life and a lot going on in my walk as, as I'm sure a lot of you have. Um, which is part of the reason why I just wanted to kind of touch base with you guys to um, give a little bit of encouragement because it's probably whatever you're going through, many others are probably going through too. So um, I think the Lord's doing some shaking right now. There is um, there's some shaking going on in lives and in um, families and the Lord's doing things because he's trying to to teach us he's trying to give increase he's trying to get us to grow he's trying to move us to the next level and um, each time we're gonna go to another level there's an amount of sacrifice there's an amount of pain that is required to get to that next level and that that sacrifice of that pain that suffering it looks different for each person um, you know, for me personally, um, I've actually had a lot of, I've had a lot of death around me lately. Um, I've also, um, had some physical things that have happened to me lately because the Lord's trying to get me to slow down with things. Um, I recently, um, I've lost a cousin and I've lost a really dear sister in Christ. Um, I lost my dog and um, I started having some issues with um, my arms and it actually sent me to the uh, urgent care not too long ago because um, I started getting numbing, numb. my arm was going numb, my left arm was going numb and um, it was tingling, I was having um, you know, weird sensations in my arm. So I ended up going to the urgent care and <laughs> God is good because, um, he not only told me, uh, through the, the doctor, but he also told me, um, in a couple different other ways that I needed to rest. I was doing too much. There's been a lot going on in my life and I didn't realize that, um, I was biting off more than what the Lord wanted me to chew. And uh, there was a lot of things that needed to uh, be worked on and be done. And I didn't realize that I had a problem with setting things aside and not finishing projects. And I didn't realize that until this actually happened with my arm. Um, it started on a Friday night. And by Tuesday, it was it was to the point where my whole entire arm was affected. And um, so I went to the urgent care. And literally, while I was there, the urgent care doctor said to me, um, let me put it this way to you. He said, you need to take a sabbatical rest. And when he said that, like, I was like, okay, Lord, I know what you're saying. Okay. I need to stop. I need to stop being busy. Sorry, guys. I'm got the camera everywhere. I need to stop being so busy and I need to rest. So since then, the Lord's been telling me that I need to rest, 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 rest more. I'm, I'm doing more than what he wants. Um, where I'm like, this needs to be done, this needs to be done, this needs to be done. And the Lord's saying, no, no, I know this stuff needs to be done. Come to me first, get your rest, and then you can do all those things that you need to do. So I've been working on that. So um, not only, you know, are things happening in my personal life, but um, even my um, even my family members, um, the Lord has removed a couple more people out of my life. And um, these are people that are not willing to be a uh, part of my walk. Um, I think I've tried helping them as much as I can. So the Lord's like, it's time for them to move on. So he's removed a couple people out of my walk. And uh, my uh, oldest daughter, who has... Uh, always love the Lord. Um, but unfortunately she's gotten to a relationship and married someone and, uh, started a family with, with him. I've talked about her before, but, um, I can now see that the Lord has basically turned her over 
to go through whatever she needs to go through to find her way back. And it's really hard for me because she's met with my daughter. She actually um, has went down to Florida and met with some of my uh, family in Florida. She met with my parents and I see that she's struggling. She's struggling a lot and the Lord's not allowing me to go to her at this point. Um, there's more that she needs to go through before she's ready. And um, with everything that's happened in her life, she's um, doubting her faith. She doesn't know what to think anymore. And she was a very strong believer in love with the Lord. So um, he's allowing her to experience um, what it feels like to be away from him. And it's really hard because I want to go and take her and shake her. I want to shake her around and just tell her, like, what are you doing? You need to go back to the Lord. But um, the Lord has a plan for her and he has a plan for everyone. Um, not only is the Lord um, shaking things up in my life, he, um, he's also shaking things up in my parents' life. And uh, my um, mom recently got knocked down by their dog and... <laughs> She now has a torn rotator cuff and all the muscles in her arm are torn. So she has to go through surgery. So as all this stuff is going on and all this chaos is going on in everyone's life, I'm like, Lord, why is this happening? Like, why is this happening to everyone that I know? Like, all my family is going through something. And um, the Lord basically showed me, like, the suffering, the chaos, the turmoil, the testing, that's what's needed to get you to the next level. That's what has to happen to continue to move you on. And like we don't look at it that way. You know, like, well, hey, why can't you just do the work in me, Lord, and just have it done? But the Lord has shown us that um, there are certain things he's going to remove right away. There are certain things he's going to take care of and he's going to get it out of your life. And then there are other things that you have to walk through um, because because of that suffering that you go through. You'll also, you also, you suffer because the Lord suffered as well. You'll be glorified with him when he's glorified in this earth. So these things are not meant to hurt us. They're not meant to um, discourage us or put us, you know, in a state of depression or question everything. They're meant to draw us to the Lord and they're meant to, um, to prune us, to sanctify and purge us and then help us to get to where we need to be in order to get to the next level. And it looks different for each person, but there is a, there is no way to get to the next level without some suffering. There's no way to get to the next level without a little bit of pain. And it's nothing compared to what the Lord went through. Absolutely doesn't compare at all. But that suffering has to take place. And through that, we become um, more useful for the master. We can move out of an old phase. And then we can be moved into a new phase. That The Lord can use us in new ways, new direction. So... Um, as difficult as it is, it's part of the growing process. It's part of the walk that we have to go through. And and I know that I'm not the only one going through it. I see it happening with um, a lot of my family, believers and non-believers. Um, so it's definitely, um, it's definitely, there's definitely a shaking going on. And so I just want to encourage you guys because I'm pretty sure that there are many of you that are out there also going through some things. There are probably many of you that are struggling, going through some trials, going through some issues. And um, we just need to know that this is because of the hand of the Lord. He's doing these things for you to help you in your growth. Um, it's for his glory and it's for your good. And um, the sooner we can just surrender to these things the better off we'll be because the Lord will teach us and show us what he wants from us. And there's a benefit on the other side of walking through that fire. There's a benefit that we're going to receive and we're going to be stronger. We're going to be more humble. We're going to be um, more of a reflection of the Lord's image. And so it's a good thing. So as I was sitting here doing my study this morning, 
which was really hard for me because so much stuff's going on. Like the devil's pulling me here and he's pulling me there. He's like, hey, what about this? You need to do this, a little bit of that. He's telling me all the things that are on my plate and I know what's on my plate. I know all the things I need to do. But he's trying to get me focused on those things on the plate. And the Lord's saying, stop, stop. Don't focus on the things on the plate. I want you to focus on me. And then I will help you get strength and I will help you handle all those things that are on your plate. So I literally had to talk myself through, I got to, you know, th I have this I have to do, this I have to do, this I have to do. And I literally said, Lord, help me. Help me stay focused on spending time with you. Help me stay focused on receiving from you. The Lord wants us to sit at his feet during these times of chaos or uncertainty. He wants us to sit at his feet and receive the manna that he has for us. So in a, in a world where everything's pulling you, you're going to have a distraction over here and a distraction over there and a distraction over here. These things are designed to pull us away from the Lord, but the Lord's saying, the chaos is going to increase. The distractions are going to increase. And as that increases, you need to make sure that you're still spending time with me. You need to make sure that you are still um, taking time to receive your manna from me. And it's important. We can't say, Lord, I've got 10 things on my plate today. I just don't have time to sit down right now. Give him the beginning, not the end, or whatever's left over. Make it a point to sit down and give him the beginning and let him help you through this. Let him give you strength through the day and he will make everything work. Even through all of this, I have seen the Lord come through in so many things that I've needed help with. Um, he's a faithful father and he's going to help us with the things we need help with. But it's important that we drink from the well. It's important that we are refilled with the, the spirit. We're refilled by the word of God. The more chaotic it gets, the more we need him. So I just wanted to get on and say, if you're going through some problems, if you're going through some struggles, if you have a lot going on in your life right now, it's all by design. The Lord's hands in it. And just make sure that you put him first, receive from him, and he will light the path. He will give you direction and guidance with everything. So I hope this brings a little bit of comfort to someone today that may need it. God bless you, and I'll be back soon. Take care.